Hey guys, it's Brett here with the Tuning School, and today we're going to be talking about how the load profiles work on a Mustang Dyno. So as many of you know, Mustang Dyno provides load-bearing dynos. Now there's many other manufacturers that provide load-bearing dynos as well, but today in our facility we have a Mustang Dyno, so we're going to go over how their load profiles work. So basically the way that it works is there's an eddy brake that's attached to the back of the dyno. Now what this does is it actually holds the car back as it's on the dyno. So it's not just spinning the weight of the roller, it actually has resistance to it. Now what this means is it makes the car act exactly as if it was driving on the street. This is really, really helpful when it comes to tuning because all of our fueling calculations and our spark calculations, which are based off of the load of the vehicle, will be 100% accurate when we move to the street. So basically what the software does is the Mustang Dyno software will calculate the weight of the vehicle and then how much horsepower it takes to move the vehicle. And usually it's how much horsepower required to move the vehicle at 50 miles an hour. With those calculations, it can then slow the rollers down using the eddy brake and load the car exactly as it would be loaded on the street. Now let's take a look at how to actually select the load profile in the software. So what we're working with today is we're gonna go ahead and put an 04 Silverado on the dyno. And so we're gonna load the dyno as such. So to do this, once we've selected the customer information, all I have to do is click this vehicle tab over here. Once we click vehicles, we can now select new and we can select the new vehicle that we wish to put in here. Now, this is where you put basic information like license plate, things like that. But to actually select the load profile, we go over to here to look up cars slash trucks. Once we click on that, it works kind of like a spark, uh, part store search would work. So you'd go down until you find the year of the car that you're working on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down until we find 2004. So we found 2004, we'll expand that. We're going to go down until we find Chevy. We got Chevrolet here. And then what we can do is we'll select this C1500. So basically a Silverado 1500. We'll select it. What we've got today is a 4.8 liter. So we'll select this. And then from here, we click on this E button. And once we click on this E button, you'll see that all of this information populates over here. So it calculates the, low, the uh, total weight, the drive axle weight, the non-drive axle weight. Uh, and then it's got lots of little calculations here, horsepower at 50, so on and so forth. And from all this information here, it's able to calculate exactly how much mass is required to move down the road, exactly how much power is required to move it. So once we've calculated all this, we can click select. And then we just input a couple more things. We got to put that it's eight cylinders. And then we have to actually select a license plate. Once we select the license plate, we just click save. And then we click select and the vehicle will be loaded and we can begin our tuning process. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the capabilities of a Mustang Dyno, or any Dyno really, feel free to give us a call here at the Tuning School at 727-264-8875. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media.